Hey biscuits! If I look exhausted, it's because I am. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna get my, my anemia sorted out. I get my IV infusion soon. I get a couple of those. And I should have more energy. But I'm trying to have energy to swap out our Christmas decor. Oh yeah! Into a, not spring, but let's say a Valentine's Day theme. Abraham really wanted to keep the trees up um, this year, so they're, and they're all faux trees. Um, so I grabbed the uh, trees that we had here, and the one that we had in my bedroom, and the one that we had in the little corner of our living room. Um, and these are just really inexpensive. They were like $48 for the whole tree at Home Depot. Um, so, you know, up close. You can tell they're a beautiful tree, but he loves them. And they've given us a lot of light and sparkle, I think, this time of year, which has been great. Because it's just dark and, you know, scummy this time of year in Seattle. <laughs> so we are going to take off anything that cries out super Christmassy kind of vibe. And we're going to put in Valentine's Day vibes. And this year we're going to do a strawberry floral forest. And I thought we'd just clump all the trees together. It's the first year we've had three little fake trees to do. Um, and I just think it'll be a little fun sparkle for the living room. We actually really miss having a tree in my bedroom because we would sit there at night turn off the lights and let it sparkle. But I am waddling along um, and finishing the rent on myself because budget requires that. So I am ripping out the flooring that got chopped up um, from the mold remediation and I'm having to do all the drywall and, and things like that, paint, um, so that my bedroom is kind of, I'm still sleeping in there right now until I paint and then I'll have to sleep on the sofa for a while. Um, but it's not a great space to keep the tree in because I'm constantly taking floorboards out and slowly pulling up baseboards and things. I'm going slow, taking my time. Um, if it were a professional, they would just come in and do it in like a couple hours, but I'm just doing a few pieces at a time. Um, so I thought I'd move the tree up here and we'd have a little enchanted Valentine's Day floor. I'm pretty excited. Mm -hmm. And then this year, this year's gonna be fun for keeping the sparkle alive because Abraham was super sad when I brought up the idea of taking the tree down. He really didn't like that idea. And so I thought, you know what? Oh yeah. We will be good and we won't do that. This is one of our favorites. This is Mr. Hedgehog. We got him in a home since in Scotland. Um, and we just love him. <laughs> he stays out year round sometimes. <laughs> I'm not sure, I'm not sure what we're gonna do with him. Okay, I am going to just keep on going. Some of the pieces I'm going to keep out, like and this little mushroom piece and some of the florals. If I can make them work, I will keep them out, but almost everything is going to fall. Okay, my love, we 
Valentine's Day bushes are up. They are ready to be fabulous. Oh yeah, I'm loving them. They've been up for a couple days. Um, and I'm liking it. Let me bring you in closer. Woohoo! Oh yeah. So they have flowers and decorations and hearts, some feather boas, because you know, who can resist feather boas? And I just think it is delightfully fun to have these as something to love up in the living room, brighten up the evenings because it's dark so early here. I really like it. Uh, oh, you know what? Let me show you. I also did a big balloon garland um, and it makes such a difference. Let me show you. Bringing you over. Isn't that cute? So we have faux wisteria, pink balloons, love. And it's just a whole little area. Hello there, how are you? Oh yeah. It's just a whole little area where I can sit in our comfy chair and have fun with the holidays. I love it. I think this has been such a fun project. Um, last year was the first year that I tried doing a Valentine's Day bush and I love it. I just, it makes me smile sitting in here. Um, next year I would love to add some twinkle lights to things but we're kind of perfecting it out. And I love having all the pretend flowers um, because it just makes everything. Let me scoop real quick. Biscuits, because a balloon is whacking me. Yeah, it just makes everything so much cheerier in this kind of depths of winter time when I really feel like, oh, I need, I need a little color and sparkle. Um, I even did the bedroom and I'll take you along next and show you in there to just add a little bit of light and warmth to everything. It wasn't Christmassy, but we aren't quite ready to do like Easter spring decor, right? It's, it's not the right time of year for that. Um, it makes me smile. I love the, the creepy weird lip balloons. They're so strange. <laughs> okay, let me show you the bedroom too. Look at that, I love this back here. <laughs> I'm, I'm literally sitting on my bed so I'm a little unstable. But this is so much fun. It lights up. Here, I'll show you. It lights up in the evenings. Sometimes I just want to sit back here in the quiet and have a moment and it just is delightful. Um, I did a whole big thing of wisteria that goes side to side here. I repurposed our Christmas garland that lights up and I also have an old photo backdrop um, one here and I came, brought them all together and it's just so nice and so warm and inviting. That I love it. I'm gonna turn this light back on. Oh yeah. <laughs> it is our spring fabulous season almost. Four more months of winter, so we're faking it. <laughs> I hope biscuits that you like is the behind the scenes thing. I don't think I really did a behind the scenes of all of our Christmas decorating this year. Um and I thought, oh, I should do it, I should do it this year. Because I really enjoy these. Abraham loves them. He sits in here with me at night and We'll turn off the lights and let it just glow and it looks so pretty. I love it. <laughs> okay, my lovelies, I'm gonna see you in the next video. I just wanted to pop on and show you kind of the, the whole shebang that we put into it. <laughs> I'll see you in the next vlog. I love you all. Giant is still gonna be winter for months, hug. Ah, oh, we can make it. We can make it, biscuits. <laughs>